Pagkatismaya ng ilang kritiko sa NBL patungkol nga rito sa ipinapakita ngayon ng kupuna ni Kai Soto, especially dito sa kanilang masakit na pagkatalo last week kontra nga sa kupuna ng Kane Stephens. Yan ay matapos mga like ang video na ito, mag-subscribe sa ating channel at pakidamay na rin ang ating official Facebook page. Pero bago natin simulan, eh alam mo bang isa ang 1x bet sa mga leading betting company sa buong mundo? Kaya naman wag nang magdalawang isip pa at tumalpak na. Oh my goodness, where do we start? Now, I'm not going to say where do, where do we start. I just think that it, there's two ways to look at this, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. New coach, um, preseason's preseason. Everybody doesn't play their main players or their main plays. So they got off to a good confident start and I felt that they will make top four, right? Um, Some of the numbers scoring from that game in Cairns, sub 50% from the free throw line, trail by 40. There's no, that's unacceptable to be down by 40 points. Lost two games, they've allowed you know 59 what? and 54 in first half the defense. The free throw line's irrelevant because they could have shot 100% from the free throw line, still lost by 30. Well, um, I'll put it like this. Um, new coach, unacceptable that loss mm. in the way they lost. So you don't get a pass from that. You need to have a deep and meaningful conversation with your team and everybody individually, because that cannot happen again. Same way how Sydney got both new coaches, both got smacked. These things can happen, but you would rather it happen against a team. Look, I'd rather get smacked by Perth before I get smacked by Kansas. Players need to play, players quit. I know what I saw. In fact, I turned that game off at the third quarter as well. I mean, it was ridiculous. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? So. Players got to look at look at themselves, and I hope that they turn around and um, actually, I know that they're going to turn around and come out better. At least, have to. It can't get any worse. Who's their spark plug? They had no energy from the tip, and you look around the league, you can nominate a guy who's like, you know what, he's going to take, and he's going to be the guy who brings the energy to get you through an occasional flat spot. Who's Adelaide? Needs to be Mitch McCarron. Mm. He needs to be that guy at that level. And it's not, you know, you look, often you think of a spark plug as a guy coming off the bench to change the tempo, but that needs to be Mitch McCarron setting that tone uh, at the start of each and every game. And, and it was Tajir McCall that set the tone for, for every, every that entire game. And here's my issue with that loss, as distinct to the Sydney historically bad loss in Melbourne. For Sydney, it wasn't a lack of effort. It wasn't a lack of playing hard or being cohesive. They just Melbourne just completely locked them down. They couldn't get anything happen offensively. Plus, they miss open looks, and then all of a sudden, the whole tide of things starts going against you, but they battled hard. That Adelaide team were jogging up and down the floor. We saw a little bit of the highlights there, but that was just one clip of about 10 you could put together about defensive transition. And it was a, a mix of a lack of communication, but also just a lack of getting back. Playing hard, every almost every loose ball the tight pants got. Getting getting harder at the ball, harder running the lanes. And as a coach, and as a team, and as an organisation, and as a teammate, and as an individual, you just can't accept that. Now, 